Researchers just figured out how to unlock our own mutant healing factor. Great for crime fighters and klutzes. Anthony here for DNews and a couple of research teams from the Children's Medical Center Research Institute at UT Southwestern might have just turned us into Wolverine or the Lizard. Or if you think comics are lame, they figured out a way to supercharge our body's ability to heal and regrow lost bits. You should really give comics another chance though. The teams discovered a couple of proteins that are active in human fetuses, but turn off once we leave the womb. The first one is called LIN28A. It's turned on during fetal development, but not in later life. It looks like that protein is important to tissue repair. Activating it creates a metabolic state like small children have. They heal and regenerate tissue incredibly fast. The other discovery involved a protein called IMP1. It promotes stem cell self-renewal. Now self-renewal is what makes fetal stem cells split and regenerate. It's important for the rapid growth of tissue it takes for Babi to form. A lack of IMP1 seems to be part of what makes our stem cells stop replicating and decide what sort of other cells to finally turn into. IMP1 production starts slowing down in later fetal development because of other molecules that start appearing, and those molecules increase because of that first protein, LIN28A. It starts shutting off too. So all these things are connected, and learning to reactivate them in adults could be the secret to much faster healing, and even the regeneration of tissue after some real bad injuries. Get that LIN28A going, it gets the IMP1 going, and boom, you're creating stem cells. Shut them down, and those stem cells really quickly become specific cells. Research from one of the teams published in the journal cell showed that controlling these proteins in mice improved hair regrowth and fast healing and better repair after ear and digit injuries. It unfortunately didn't help regenerate heart tissue, which means this might not be the key to unlimited ethically sourced stem cells that we've been looking for. But the team does think they could create metabolic drugs that could repair wounds super quickly, more cleanly than the adult body can repair itself, and can even repair wounds that are just too severe for the body to heal on its own. I sliced the very tip of this finger off years ago when I was working in a restaurant. It was like this really small slice, but even that healed back kind of weird and slightly flat, and sometimes it tingles because of the way the nerves reposition themselves in there. We're made to heal fast and dirty. We scab and scar because our body is complex, and it's faster to just close off from outside stuff that could infect us than it is to regrow perfectly. But regenerating like a fetus generates tissue means that we get the best of the animal kingdom. We get the fast healing of a human, and the regeneration of other species. Of course, the body turns this stuff off for a reason, probably not to keep us from turning into a crazed half man, half lizard, but I'm sure it serves some purpose. Seriously, do not let that movie throw you off. The lizard is much cooler in the comics. Let's talk about scars. Do you have any? I've just got Tingle Finger here. Let me know and subscribe for more D News.